Hey guys, hope you are well and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to do Facebook Dynamic Creative Ad Sets and Short DCA. This is a new method of uh, running Facebook ad campaigns. If you are a business owner or if you're an agency owner managing other businesses ads, this will be very useful. This is actually a very efficient way of doing Facebook ads um, with some restrictions of course but we will talk about all that in this section of the video and then um, after we're done with the theory we will go ahead and actually create a campaign with a, a dynamic creative ad set in it so let's start with the theory part in this method of doing facebook ads you only get to create one ad under one ad set so one ad set will only have one ad not more than that that ad will have all sorts of ad copies headlines descriptions call to action and um, images videos and all that stuff so you dump everything under one ad and facebook decides which combination which creative which copy works best so uh again what we discussed uh one ad per ad set up to five headlines so you can under one ad have up to five headlines five descriptions five ad copies and also five call to action so and then you can uh, you get to upload 10 images or videos under that single ad so this will be your ad this will be your dynamic creative ad under the ad set and uh, let's talk about the benefits so the benefits the first benefit is uh, the creative testing becomes you know almost automated so you put everything there and then you decide uh, you let facebook decide which which combination works best which creative works best you don't have to keep creating new ads and then uh you know tracking all those numbers manually anymore so just put up put them there and then just let facebook decide everything um the second one is higher performance by delivering the best creative combo so if you are putting everything there facebook shuffles everything and then finds the best combination right that's also uh, one of the benefits of running dynamic creative assets. Then there are data-driven insights, which is kind of obvious. And it's less work because you don't have to manually keep creating ad sets and, you know, test, keep testing your ads. Um, ads. In this way, you only create one campaign. This is just how I personally use uh, dynamic creative ads for, um, you know, my businesses or, you know, my client businesses. I just create one campaign. And then I, once I find the best combination, once I find the best winning creatives i just create uh variations of the top three performing ads and then i just replace them with the lowest performing three so this is what keeps on going and then uh, it also helps me avoid ad fatigue like you know when the frequency of, of a particular ad creative increases this method helps me avoid that as well so that's uh the benefits so these are the benefits and then let's talk about the restrictions as well so it you have less control because you're doing less work and you are kind of you know letting facebook decide everything you have less control so you can't really choose which headline goes with which image it's up to facebook facebook will decide the best combination so you you can't really uh you know like how we used to do like under one campaign we used to do ads for for example if we are uh, if we were doing ads for like a like a gym okay so we could we could promote cardio through one ad we could promote weightlifting through another one we could promote like you know you get the idea but if you are doing dynamic creatives and putting everything under one one ad it's kind of messed up right because the cardio ad copy may be combined by facebook with the weightlifting ad creative so you only can do like under one ad you have to keep it similar you can't really do multiple ad categories like subcategories of the service can't be promoted through one ad if that makes sense so dynamic creatives don't support storytelling where a specific sequence matters you know so like in carousels so you can't do carousel through dynamic creatives that's one of the restrictions if your creatives aren't tightly aligned with in tone and visuals meta might mix that and clash you know stylistically so that's what i said if you are doing multiple category or subcategory under one ad the combination may not make sense so these are the restrictions keeping them in mind if you think that okay i want to do dynamic creatives um you know in my in my future campaigns or maybe i'll just give it a go then the next section is for you and then we will now go ahead and create a dynamic creative campaign i'll show you i'll, I'll talk about all the bits and uh yeah let's get started on creating our campaign so here we are let's get started this is my ad account and uh i'm on the campaign level 
just go to adsmanager.facebook.com if you want to go to your Facebook ad account and then hit create. So my goal is to get leads. So let's just get started with leads and you can choose your own, uh, you know, category that makes sense for your uh, purpose. So I will just call it uh, DCA campaign April 2025. And then here you can just do ad set budget and uh because we will be running like if we can't create one more than one ad under one ad set then okay i i'll do multiple ad sets and i will i want to have the ability where i will manage the budget on the ad set levels like i, I want to allocate the budget to the ad sets uh, individually so i'll just hit next i'll just call it broad ads uh advantage plus and then here I'll just select website because I want to send traffic to my landing page. And here I'll just have to select a data set. So I'll just do this one. And then here I'll just select lead. This is the this is the part where you select your pixel that you've set up for conversion tracking. And there are conversion tracking videos on my channel. So go ahead and watch that, uh, watch those. And uh, here, this is the budget. So this is the ad set budget, right? So I want to allocate 10 pounds for this ad set. That's what I'm basically doing. Uh, the location can be changed. So I'll just do United States. Well, maybe I'll just do Ireland as well, because I'm, I'm doing worldwide campaign in all English speaking countries. So very important uh, here where it says dynamic creative, this must be on. So let's turn this on. This is the whole purpose of this video. So let's turn this on and then select the audience. I'm, I'm keeping this ad set broad not doing any kind of uh, uh any kind of interest-based targeting any look-alike stuff the videos are there in my channel if you want to watch those how to do interest stack targeting how to do look-alike targeting and the, all those stuff but once you're done with this part just hit next and also uh one more thing i forgot to mention here where it says placement keep advantage plus on so facebook has full control over where to show your ads and whom to show your ads in the broad campaign Hit next and I'll just do DCA ad. This is actually my DCA ad and it won't let me create more than one ad, right? So select your correct Facebook page, select your correct Instagram account and then come over here where it says images. So here you need to select the 10 images for the ad and like we discussed, it needs to match. It can't be different. Like the 10 creatives must be variations of the same theme, the same stuff you're talking about. It can't be different than what I'm going to do. So what I'll do is I will just upload 10 images here. So I have it, I have the folder open in my other window. I'll just drag and drop it here and you can upload it from here. That's no big deal. Once it's done, and this is just test data I'm uploading guys. This is nothing, you know, nothing serious. It's just a test campaign I'm showing. So once it's done uploading, keep selecting them here like this. And I've numbered all my ads so I know which ones to select once it's done and also it just it, it doesn't have to be images only it can be video uh it can be image anything you like so it can be image plus video 10 so 10 images plus videos uh and now primary text so let's upload some text as the ad copy so i'll just do this and let's format these a bit better all right so add text option in the next option and i told you we can do five ad copies right so this is the second one this is uh this is what we need to do to create the ad copies all right and th this will be the third one now and this will be the fourth And finally, the fifth ad copy. Here we go. Once it's done, as you can see, it doesn't give me an option to create a sixth ad copy, which means you're only limited to uploading five ad copies under one ad. So that's so we're done with that, right? So now let's just upload some headlines. These are the headlines that will show up under. Okay, let's let me just turn on ad preview so you can see how how it looks. And here we go. This is the second one. This is what 
will uh, the, the headline will basically be displayed under the image or the video right uh and then the fourth and the fifth so this is the fifth one as you can see it doesn't give me an option to create any more headlines so there we go and for some reason it's not showing me the previews let me just try refreshing it okay maybe something happened i don't know but usually you you get to see what's going on uh you know how it how your ad is, is looking as you keep uh, creating the ad basically the ad copy will show up above the image like as the post or the video uh you know and the headline will show up below the image or the video and here you just put your website URL. so i'll just do my website because it's nothing serious i'm not going to run this campaign anyway this is just to show you how it's done uh here the the call to action so the appropriate one because i'm, I'm asking people to join my group will be joined now or something but you can however create multiple calls to action so you know like sign up or you know order now like whichever one works uh contact us maybe apply now so you can have as many as you need but i would just recommend not using all these but and and just stick with the ones that matter most so maybe i'll just get rid of these book now sign up or sign up or apply now that's it tracking that's fine url parameters if you want to use it use it uh if you don't want to do it that's fine so we are just basically sending people to a landing page and then this is our dynamic creative ad five ad copies five headlines five descriptions which is optional website url display link can be the same and then here we're not selecting any additional add-on five calls to action but i'm just selecting two because these are the most appropriate ones the other ones don't really make any sense okay so that's once that's done go to the campaign level check everything go to next and then hit publish that will publish your campaign and this is your dynamic creative ad guys and let me just show you one more thing before we wrap this video up so how do you see which which ads are doing well and which ones are not so here come to the ad level go to breakdown go to dynamic creative element and select image video and slideshow so once you do that that will you know give you a breakdown of all the uh let me just try to publish this campaign maybe i'll be able to see that so next next publish hopefully it gets published oh no it won't okay anyway so let me just try to uh go to the breakdown again so go to dynamic creative element so this will if you do image video and slideshow this will basically give you a breakdown of all the creatives separately like which ones are doing which ones got leads which ones got did not get a lead and stuff like that uh so yeah that's that's basically how you how you create dynamic creative ads uh dynamic creative ad campaigns so before i finish the video guys i just wanted to show you an actual dynamic creative campaign and how the stats look like so uh this is the ad level this is an actual campaign we were running and then we need to just go ahead and create breakdown dynamic creative element image video and slideshow as you can see the the creatives in this ad are you know broken down like this so if you click on this it'll take you to the creative link and it will th this view basically shows you how many views how many leads how many impressions how many you know what's the cost per result and all those stuff for each uh, individual creative so that's how you can you get to see how your dynamic creative ads are doing uh again facebook decides the best combination and all those stuff uh you don't have to do anything you just get to see how the creatives are doing so you just you need to you know tune up the ad copies and just keep changing ad creatives based on the requirements so that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.